been a whirlwind of a journey. Starting my undergrad, I could never have imagined that I'd now, like three and a half years later, be part of a special Arctic research team. There's nowhere else that does environmental and resource geology, and I think the career aspects and the research I could go into after completing my BSc are unrivaled anywhere else. We only have one environment. We only have one world. We only have one planet. If we screw it up, we're doomed. So when I started looking for undergrads, I didn't know where I wanted to go, but I knew that I wanted to do something with the Arctic, with climate change, and I knew that Manchester was a specialist for that. Only when you, when you look at the fundamental, at the science, that you can start to understand these very big questions. One of the most important areas in the world when it comes to climate change is the Arctic region. It is currently warming up the fastest of anywhere else on Earth. We here in the School of Earth and Environmental Science are really working at the forefront of research in this area. The School of Earth and Environmental Sciences is world leading in this area. We have some instruments that are unique in the world. The Williamson Research Centre hosts laboratories that support cutting edge mineral analysis, surface analysis, biology laboratories. In one building we're able to piece all of those bits of the jigsaw together to, to understand the natural environment. I think it's a particularly good time to come here and work in this area because it's very dynamic. Understanding how we can clean up the environment using natural microbial processes, how we can make the next generation of materials for industry across a range of sectors, how we can help deliver high quality drinking water across the world. We're not environmental studies, we're not environmental law, we are environmental science. And the science is the basis of everything. We do a lot of field work in our course and it doesn't cost us a penny. It's really good you get to know all your course mates and make friends. At the end of first year we went to Devon for a week and that was like the first real field trip with our notebooks and our compasses. And we've been mainly learning how to keep a field notebook, how to write relevant notes, improving our sketching. Then you go up to Scotland, Wales, south of France. I'm living in Spain for six weeks, but we're going to an abandoned iron mine. On the Tenerife field trip, we really got to see how the environment and humans and climate and geology all link into one. It's, it's the whole sphere. And it is that journey that you see them grow in confidence. You see them picking up the tools along the way to challenge and to tackle real environmental problems. In my second year, we went to go and have a look at a few contaminated land sites. We went to one and it was an old town tip. There was this horrible orange gunky stuff coming out of it. And then I thought, actually, what is coming out of that? And I ended up doing my dissertation project on it and analysing the water coming out and seeing how that would affect surrounding areas, the animals, the habitats. I had to give my research over to Derbyshire Council. There were still some heavy metals sitting around, even though the tip closed in the 1960s. Most of the lecturers and the professors that are teaching the students are also active researchers. So sometimes they're standing literally with their feet in the clay before they go into the classroom to teach. So that means that they bring with them the latest innovations, the latest results, the latest technology and the latest science. A school like SEAS is, is, is invaluable. Being in a smaller, certainly a smaller friendly school, it does give you a lot of opportunities to interact with a range of different disciplines. I mean you might find somebody who's come in as a biologist and, and, and really just been immersed in an area of full of geologists, physicists. The staff are so friendly, they're so helpful, they genuinely want you to succeed. If you need help, they'll give you help. They always respond to emails, they're on it constantly. Especially with the small class sizes as well, you do get that bond with the lecturer so you feel more comfortable to ask them the question. You don't feel stupid asking a silly question. By the time students leave, they can adopt a really critical approach to the scientific literature at the forefront of research. Our graduates are very highly employable. They have very good skills, transferable skills, can look at, at problems in a complex way. They understand they can work in teams as well as alone. These are all qualities that are highly appreciated by employers. So any potential students who are wanting to come to Manchester, don't um and ah about it, just go. The department's brilliant, teacher staff are excellent and the city itself is wonderful. <laughs>